Hello everyone, it's Kavita from Red Door Yoga. Thank you for joining me for the Red Door Yoga Mini Sutra Series online. Today I wanted to talk to you about why gratitude is a practice. So the reason that gratitude is a practice is because it's not actually natural to us. Now you've probably met some people who seem really quite natural in gratitude. They're very grateful human beings, likes to be around, and that's fantastic. But from a brain viewpoint, we're not wired to focus on all the wonderful things around us. We're not. We are focused to pay attention to make sure that we're not in danger. We have A very old part of our brain, the reptilian brain, that's its job, is to look out for danger and to make sure we stay safe. So for most of us, our base instinct is to look for things that are problems in our life. Things we have to look out for. Things that could cause us harm. Things that could undermine us in some way, shape, or form, make our life difficult. That's instinctive in us. It's wired into our brains. Seeing things that we need to be grateful for, that we can be grateful for. Things that are so beneficial to us, that are taking place even in the midst of things that are threatening to us. That usually requires practice. It takes conscious work. Now, practice means that we're doing it over and over and over and over that we're making ourselves come back to it, meet with it, that we become disciplined about engaging with it, that even though it's not our instinct, that we are reaching for something beyond our instinct, a higher purpose to cultivate this non-instinctual thing in ourselves. Practicing gratitude makes us a lot happier in life. Practicing gratitude makes us a lot easier to be around for others, so it decreases suffering, not just for ourselves, but for others as well. Practicing gratitude allows us to notice the opportunities that are right in front of us or saddling up next to us. Practicing gratitude allows us to ungrip around the stories about how hard things are. Okay. Now, one of the easiest ways to practice gratitude is to decide every morning to think of one thing that you're grateful for. Sorry. Anything. Could be small. Could be big. It could be, I'm grateful I woke up this morning because I'm aware that I might not have, that there was a possibility I wasn't going to. You know, I was out at a meal with my husband today and I looked up and he had a a glass of uh, iced tea and there was ice in it. And I experienced gratitude for the fact that I have access to ice. And what was interesting was I wasn't trying to make myself feel grateful. It seemed like it just instinctively came up. And remember what I said to you at the beginning, gratitude is not the the base human instinct. So how did that come up so instinctively, so, so uncalled for, but it arose in my mind? It arose in my mind because of practice. It arose in my mind because I've done enough practice that I've learned that there is always something to be grateful for. And now my mind looks for it. It looks for it in the same way as it looks for dangers in my life. And that has made a world of difference to how happy I am, how contented I am, and how many opportunities I'm I'm aware of and I can step into. I hope that was helpful, everyone. If you've got questions or comments, please do put them in the comment section. If you found this interesting and helpful, please do share it with others. 
We're always happy to hear from you. If there are topics you'd like me to talk a little bit more about, please do put it in the comment section. And I would be happy to do that in the future because I'm here to serve you. I look forward to seeing you again online very, very soon. Namaste.